Hey, what's going on guys? In this video we're going to learn how to make a reward geocoding, which is literally a conversion of the given latitude and longitude coordinates to the particular uh, street address. So, in the previous part, uh, the video just before this one, we did absolutely the opposite. So, if you're interested in converting address, street address, to some sort of uh, the coordinates, please have a look at that video. You'll find this you'll find that in the description below this one. So, uh, as already was mentioned in the previous video, we're using the free open source nominative, uh, nominative uh, geocoding search engine and its API. So, I've been talking about all the usage policies in the previous video, uh, so please check that out as well uh, to make sure you follow these usage policies. And also, uh, in this particular uh, uh, video, we have, uh, so the previous video we were looking at the search API endpoint, and in this video we're going to look at the reverse. And here is the documentation for, uh, for that API endpoint, and there are many different outputs available uh, regarding this particular API, but we're supposed to use the one uh, with the format equals to geocode JSON, and this regards the string for a parameter. So, uh, let me just quickly demonstrate you how this is supposed to work. So, let's consider that we have uh, some sort of a URL containing the latitude and the longitude, and then we just go to the browser and paste this stuff in, and we have the response where we actually would like to uh, extract some useful data out of it. So, probably we'll be just uh, uh, sorting all of, all of this data to the JSON file and that's kind of neat. So, if you're interested, let's actually start writing some code. So, here in the current working directory, I have two files the reverse geocoding.py, which would be the source, co the, the code containing the source, the file containing the source code for our project, and the coordinates.txt contains the uh, particular uh, coordinates, latitude and longitude, respectively. Uh, that actually uh, we're gonna use as an input. So if you're interested, let's actually start writing some code. So first we need to import some sort of a packages and this time we need to import requests and import JSON as well. I'm sorry for the environmental sounds uh, here in the apartment where I'm recording this video. I have no idea what exactly they come from, but nevertheless uh, here uh, we need to specify the reverse geocoder uh, class. So I say class. Oh my god, class uh, reverse geocoder, and uh, let's specify the base the base URL that would be equal like base URL. Uh, my cat is going crazy because it's screen. She wants. To have another cat, okay. And so the base URL uh, will grab out of over here, basically. So reverse like this, just copy and paste this in. Okay. And also we need to provide uh, several methods here. So the first one would be dev fetch that would be taking the self instance and coordinates. And the coordinates. Uh, well, maybe let's let's have it like latitude and longitude, like already parsed. Okay. And here uh, we need to make uh, HTTP GET request to this specific URL endpoint. So we'll create the response object that would be equal to requests dot get. And we're using our self that base URL plus the parameter. Uh, sorry, so URL equals base self base URL, and the parameters would be equal to parameters. I'll just I'll create this just right in the moment, and the headers would be equal to headers because uh, as the geocoding as the nominative service asks us. It asks us to provide uh, this sort of uh, j just to, to provide a user agent, not the standard like request scrape or whatever. Just the user agent, like the real browser. That's some that's some sort of 
policies regarding uh, scraping the service. So here um, I create the headers and headers equals the single type of Python dictionary. Just paste this stuff in and oh my god. So the user agent would be equal to the one I've grabbed from my browser and the parameters uh, so parameters okay params would be also the type of Python dictionary and just uh, let's have a look how exactly we need to specify that um, so format uh, okay just I need to grab grab this out oh my god just what have, what have I done just let's basically grab this URL uh, and just paste this in. So we need the format. Okay, and this would be the fixed uh, Juco JSON, and also we need the latitude that would be equal to the latitude that we have we're supposed to pass to the fetch method here and the same for the longitude okay is this is this actually called lat just sorry lat and long okay yeah so this one would be equal to longitude okay save Okay, so after this, I just want to print some sort of debugging information here. So I just say HTTP uh, get request to URL and we specify the URL and uh, status code just to make sure we get the 200, which is okay response. So the response here as well. So here would be the response dot URL and the response dot status code, basically like this. And oh my god, what have I done? And also we need to say if response dot status code equals to two hundreds, which is okay. In this case, we want to return response uh, object right and otherwise just trying to return none uh, like this okay so the second method to consider would be the def parse which I would uh, which takes the self instance and the response object itself but I will just pass this for a while and also we need to uh, say def run uh, to run our uh, geocoder, it only takes the self instance and also def store results, which will take only the self instance as well, and also we just pass this for a while. So, here in the run method, we want to say we want to create another response object that would be equal to self.fetch and here, okay, so just I will probably pass this as well for a while because I don't know yet what's what we're supposed to use there. So now let's uh, provide the main driver for this uh, for this script. So I say main driver and if name equals to name. Well, in this case, we want to create uh, the reverse. Geocoder instance that would be equal to reverse geocoder. I hope I spelled this correctly. And now reverse geocoder dot one. Okay, copy, paste, run, save. And now I now I need to open the terminal, the current working directory. Uh, and I hold my breath and I type Python three reverse. Geocode, geocoding, oh my god, geocoding.py. Okay, nothing happens. Well, that's because we didn't uh, actually do anything within our run method. 
Okay, I'm sorry again for the environmental sounds. My wife is cooking something over there in the kitchen, so just hope you understand, guys. Okay, so now let's actually uh, load the coordinates from from our coordinate.txt file. So uh, just say load, load cool coordinates, and here we say we open. txt want to read the file stream as file and here would be the cool oh let's just create a content variable first Con content would be the type of empty stream at the moment and here we say for line in at the read want to say content plus equals line uh, now we want to uh, create another variable so let's call this coordinates this would be equal to content dot split and we want to split this by the new lines but also we'll need Okay, maybe this is just enough for a while. So just try to print coordinates. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Just really wondering why nothing happens at the moment. Sorry, guys. Of course, two underscores before main. Sorry for that. So now it should work. Okay, so now we have a list of these coordinates. So in order to provide. Uh, the, the reasonable coordinates we probably need simply to split this uh, loop over all of this split strip and okay that's it's, it's easier to do rather than to explain so now we can actually try to loop over the coordinates here and I can simply say for coordinate in coordinates uh, okay uh, let's try to print. Uh, no, let's create the latitude. Uh, not sure which one the first, which one is the second. So latitude would be coordinate dot split by the comma, and we want the very first element, and we want to strip the stuff, and the longitude would be the second one, I believe with the index of one okay so this would be the longitude and let's now just try to print latitude and longitude to make sure they will they were actually parsed correctly uh, I'm not sure what the hell is this list index out of range means here okay probably some error with the process in the file itself so I just simply enclose this to the within the try except construction and that would be fairly enough for this tutorial at least pass so let me just try this one more time okay now we have our coordinates so this is pretty nice and now it's time actually to start making the requests themselves also we need the way to import for the time module to provide the delay between the request in order to respect the policies of nominating OpenStreetMap service itself. So uh, after uh, we're making this response, uh, okay. So so what do we supposed to actually? So these parameters are already. So we need just, we don't need either the base URL, they're already there, just the latitude and the longitude. So cell fetch latitude and the longitude and make HTTP request to API, to nominating API, and here would be parsing uh, self.parse, but this a little bit later on so um, here we need to extract coordinates coordinates see. 
Okay, so probably I, I can already kind of run this to see if uh, the URL is formulated correctly and if it really does oh, the status code of 200, which is perfect, absolutely perfect. But okay, I just forgot, I just forgot this, uh, yeah, respect, uh, crawling, crawling policies. It won't, uh, you won't get banned immediately, but this is really important to bear in mind, basically. So we need to simply to see the time dot slip. It's enough to slip for one second, but uh, I'll use this time slip dot two to make sure we're not torturing the site. And the API. Okay, so now it makes a slightly uh, bigger uh, delay between the requests. Okay, maybe. Okay, let's just have it one as as, as they want us to have. Okay, and now it's time to actually parse the output. So I say cell dot parse, and we provide the response uh, dot JSON because this response mm, uh, is the is the response to the REST API. So uh, it's kind of in the JSON format, so we can just serialize this using the standard request JSON method instead of doing this by hands. And here the response would already be the type of so just print of type of JSON. So I can simply say JSON. So if you just bring the response, uh, it won't be uh, that user friendly, friendly and pretty printed. Instead, it would be just a uh, bulk of all the data there. Unable to geo code. Oh, it's interesting. So maybe I just uh, miss the order. So let's try. Uh, this is possible basically. So let's try. This would be the latitude, and this would be the longitude. Okay. So first latitude and longitude, right? Okay. Okay. Maybe maybe I just miss the order between all these guys. Okay. Now it works. Okay. So yeah, sorry, I just missed the order. Uh, I can I treated the latitude to be the longitude, and on the contrary, which is wrong. So here we got uh, our data. Oh, Dr. Pyle already commented the previous part of this tutorial. This is pretty nice. Thank you, Dr. Pyle. Th thanks, man. Okay, but now, <clears throat> uh, so the very first thing to consider is actually to pretty print the stuff. And in order to do that, we need simply to say uh, print JSON dot dumps and the response and specify the indentation equals to two spaces. Okay. And now it yeah now it gives a much better uh, output. But what we actually need here is so we need uh, the features and probably this geocoding would be just enough so it has the street names postcode city all the stuff we don't need the geometry because we already did provide the coordinates so uh, let's actually consider this so uh, okay response and then features geocoding so i'm just trying uh, i'm just trying to extract on, only this part Okay, and with this part, so mm, okay, let's call this maybe not the data, maybe the items basically, and this would be the response uh, features and geocoding. Of course, you can extract. Uh, only the items you want, but I just want to show you the concept behind this stuff. So later on, you would be able to uh, alter this code uh, to your own needs, basically. So let's try this one more time. Hope to see only the geocoding. Okay, it doesn't. It doesn't for some reason. Uh, features. Mm. Hmm. This is really strange. So print items. Mm, probably I missed. Yeah, definitely missed something. So type geocoding features. Okay, let's let's try this one more time. Basically, maybe I just. Mm, misspell something. I don't know. Let's have a look. 
okay and okay so features uh, in it's it has to be indexed so let's index by zero and then use the dual coding itself so indexed by zero as far as far as the features is considered to be a list okay and here the dual coding okay again something wrong oh my god Oh, properties. Okay, properties. And then the geocoding. Okay, so something slightly different. So just paste the properties in. Okay. Okay, great. Now it works. So now we can print, print this stuff here um, to make sure we're scraping the data we need actually. So, okay, great. So we have the place ID, uh, the label, which is literally, literally like the address, the name, house numbers, uh, street, postcode, city, all the stuff. So, well, of course, you could have tried to extract some, some of the other, and other data out of this. I'll just use this bulk data as the source for our, out, for our output. And now let's create a results uh, variable here to store all the results uh, we've been uh, crawling through so here uh, we can simply say no need these items we just can simply say results dot append and we're appending all, all the stuff here so the very last thing to consider is actually to write this result results to somewhat a, a JSON file. So I can simply say, so after we did uh, loop uh, over all of the coordinates, uh, we can simply say here store results. We also need to add a couple more commentaries. So open source coordinates file here and create a coordinates list okay and here we we'll loop over coordinates and this is it okay so here we can simply say self dot store results and this is literally it and within the store results we need to loop over results so I can simply say for uh, item oh maybe for address yeah for address in within self dot results uh, do we need this oh we don't even need this currently we can just uh, don't need to loop this we just can write results to file directly and we simply say with open and let's call this results.json we want to write the file stream as the file and we simply say f.write and here json.dumps and self results just to, and also specify the indentation equals to two spaces just to add those indentations to the output file so now hold my breath and try to run this stuff one more time and actually see what happens okay so the crawling logic okay no such file results.json oh we need to, sorry of course we're writing the file stream what have i done not reading we're writing the file stream of course okay so the script is done here and here is the results json <laughs> it's just fucking empty okay uh, let me just have a look why okay that's because i needed to say actually self results not the results so that was stored to some sort of a local variable Okay, now this should work really. So we need to make sure we're storing to this results. And without this self keyword, oh my god, where is that? With, without this 
itself keyword we're storing to the variable that is created within the first method itself okay so now it seems much better so actually we didn't uh, okay so the problem here is that we didn't actually specify the coordinates we've been scraping data for but uh, probably uh, probably okay let me think how it's what's the best way of doing that so we need to forward these coordinates uh, somehow so let me just try to think we could have used uh, the coordinates uh, retrie retrieved from the API but uh, I just really want to just to forward the data uh, through this method so let me just quickly think how to make this okay so let's basically add a couple of uh, well, we could have extracted this, that from the URL itself, but that's a little bit too complicated. So let's simply first, uh, let's actually just uh, pass the latitude and the longitude to the parse method itself. Okay, and here within the parse method, uh, so let's probably create a uh, Data variable that would be equal to this sort of stuff. So just copy and paste. Okay. And also we need to say data uh, latitude. So also here we have the latitude and the longitude. So data latitude would be equal to lat and the data longitude would be equal to long and now self results append data like this commander data from star trek yeah okay so let's just try this one more time and i hope now the results would also contain the okay the la latitude and, and the longitude but for some reason I can understand why why the latitude is the type of is the type of a list okay let me just quickly see why that can happen oh it's probably because of this comment why, why did I put this noise there yeah. Okay, let's try run this stuff one more time. Hope this is the last one. Okay. Okay. Reload. Okay, great. Now we have the latitude and the longitude forwarded being forwarded from the top layer of the run method and then to the request and also forwarded to the parse method and finally stored as as the result item for every particular uh, piece of data retrieved in return from that API. Okay guys, so I hope you've learned something interesting out of this tutorial and again if you want to do the opposite just to convert uh, the street address to somewhat uh, latitude and longitude coordinates, please feel free to have a look uh, at uh, the first part of this tutorial would be available in this in the description below this video in particular and this would be the last item in this request in beautiful soup one time scrapers playlist as well so if you're watching this within the playlist just the previous uh the previous video is just the previous part really, basically so i hope you uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and learned something interesting out of it so until the next time and take care